I've been living and traveling full-time in my RV for more than seven years. So if anybody knows how stressful it can be, that would be me. You guys remember Matilda? <laughs> I'm surprised I stayed in one piece through that whole fiasco. If you don't know what Matilda is, check in the video description below and I'll put a link to the uh, playlist of my first year in my giant lemon. But even if you're not living in lemon, RVs are not meant to be lived in. If you're traveling and having to move every two weeks, if you're a boondocker, there's a lot of stress to RV life, period. And when we're stressed, it's really easy to fall into some bad habits that will affect our health. So today I wanna to share with you a few things that I have learned along the way about how to take care of myself when I'm traveling, when I'm moving every two weeks, or even when I'm traveling cross country, I have learned a couple things. I don't always practice what I preach, <laughs> but I have learned how to stay healthier mentally, physically, emotionally, and even spiritually along the way in your more stressful nomadic life. So today I'm gonna to share with you the things that I have learned to help you stay healthier in your nomadic life living in an RV or a van. Unfortunately, the human body cannot survive and thrive on caffeine and sugar alone. Trust me, I wish it could. <laughs> Two of my favorite things, coffee and sugar. So it's really important to have a strong foundation in nutrition. So you guys know, if you've been following me a while, I'm kind of a little bit of an amateur nutritionist. Anybody who has struggled with weight their whole life, I think is, and I've consulted with nutritionists and I have a holistic doctor. So I know that good nutrition is the foundation of all healthy habits. It really is. When you're getting the proper nutrients, you have fewer sugar cravings, your energy is better, your focus is better, which is just gonna make your RV life or any life healthier and happier. And I have found when I'm not getting the proper nutrients, my body starts craving sugar, which means when you're going into those convenience stores, when you're driving through those towns, that junk food is gonna be screaming, eat me, eat me, <laughs> right? You go into a convenience store and it's nothing but junk food, right? There's cookies and candy and chips and sugary drinks. And when you're not getting the proper nutrition, you're gonna crave those things more. I have learned from my holistic care, the doctors that I have, that when I start craving sugar, I'm deficient usually in protein. Sometimes it means you're deficient in healthy fats. So it's really important to have a good foundation in nutrition. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that part of my foundation of nutrition is making sure I take supplements because especially as a vegan, it can be extremely difficult to get some of the nutrients that I need. I recently discovered Ritual, and I'm proud that they are sponsoring today's video. What I love about Ritual is check it out their transparency. Not only are the pills themselves, the capsules transparent so that you can see what's inside and they smell like peppermint, but they are completely transparent about the sourcing of all of the ingredients. This is the Women's Essential 50 Plus, which is formulated just for women like me over 50. And the Ritual Women's 50 Plus Multivitamin has eight traceable ingredients, which means you can actually look on their website and trace them back to the origin of where they were sourced. They are the first multivitamin to do that. And the women's multivitamin has vitamin D, B12, K2, boron, folate, omega-3, supporting heart health, immunity support, bone support, and muscle support. And Ritual goes above and beyond to make sure it has its most stringent third-party testing to make sure all of the ingredients in their capsules are free from heavy metals, microbes, and allergens. So you can be confident knowing you're getting the purest ingredients. And the Essential Women's 50 Plus is non-GMO, project verified, USP verified, and backed by a university-led clinical study. 
So if you want to stay healthy in your RV life or van life or even in your sticks and bricks life, start a daily ritual that you too can feel good about knowing that you're getting a good foundation of nutrition and nutrients that your body needs. And today, as a sponsor of this video, Ritual is offering you a special deal, 30% off your first month. You can start by scanning the QR code right here on the screen or visit ritual.com slash Carolyn RV Life 30. No S, just Carolyn RV Life 30. I'll also put a pinned comment and a link in the video description below. So start your daily ritual today so that you have a good foundation for the rest of your day. One of the things that I do to eat healthier on the road is I prepare meals and snacks ahead of time. So cut up some carrots, cut up some celery, easy to grab. The more convenient it is to eat healthy food, the more you're going to be likely to grab that rather than a bag of cookies in a convenience store. So I talked about this a little bit in my video prepping for my cross country trip. I make meals ahead of time and put them in the freezer. You know, a healthy dish of lentils, uh, and rice here. So if I've been running around running errands all day and then searching for boondocking for two hours. Well, it must be wild goose chase day and nobody bothered to tell me. I have been driving for hours. I have spent a lot of time looking for boondocking. You know, I have something to look forward to at the end of the day. Something that's pre-made, all super easy to just pull out of the freezer and put in a pot and I have a meal so that I'll be less tempted to grab something unhealthy. Chips and salsa. That's kind of my go-to. <laughs> The easier it is to eat healthy, the less tempted you're going to be by junk food, period. I have found that. My other tip for you is just don't go in the convenience store. Just don't. Get gas and leave. I heard this one time when somebody was talking about nutrition or dieting. How many times a day are you going to tell yourself no? I mean, seriously, no, no, no. Another thing I found when I was really, really healthy, I was working out all the time and I was working with a nutritionist and a personal trainer um, back in my old life. I recognized that when my body was getting the nutrients it needed, I would literally walk down the cookie aisle or the ice cream aisle and not even be tempted. That's huge for me struggle with weight my whole life. So it's really, really true that when your body is getting all the nutrients you need, and I'm telling you, the more we rely on processed food and junk food, which is full of fillers, you get fast food and it's got no nutri nutritional value in it whatsoever, the less of that crap you eat, the more your body is going to crave the nutrition when you're eating whole healthy food. And I know how difficult that is. I mean, I myself, I, I don't follow that as much as I would like. And so I do rely on packaged food and things that are pre-made. And it affects me when I'm making my own food and really mindful about the nutrients that I'm getting for my food. I'm in a much better place all the way around and I'm craving less crap. So that's my number one tip. Just make sure you're getting the proper nutrients, the proper nutrition and making food ahead of time so that you're relying on healthy foods instead of junk food. My second tip for staying healthy, living in an RV and traveling is to make sure you get exercise every single day. I'm not talking about hiking a mountain or backpacking 10 miles every day, but even if you can get out for a 20 minute walk before you hit the road, during one of your lunch breaks, do it. It is really important to keep your body active, especially if you're doing a big trip cross country or you've been traveling a lot and moving around a lot. Even if you're sitting in one place and working in, in, in front of the computer eight hours a day, it is so important to make sure you keep your body moving. Moving. Like I said, just walk 20 minutes a day. I'm out with Sadie for a couple hours every morning walking around. I try to get at least three miles in just in the morning and then I take a break in the afternoon depending on the season and the weather and then another walk in the in the evening, again, depending on weather. But ideally, I would like to at least get three miles in, which is an hour of walking every day. You know, and that just really helps 
uh, get, getting out and walking in the woods or walking someplace quiet, even if you're in a city, walking in a city park, ideally for me, I'm out in the country. It just, I notice the longer I walk, the more clear my mind gets, the more focused I get, the more relaxed I am. I mean, we all spend way too much time in front of the screen these days. So just going out and being with nature, it takes me a while. I notice when I really do the long longer walks. It'll take me a couple miles before I'm cleared out of all the noise of my life. I mean, even living in an RV, spending so much time online because a lot of it is, that's my job. Uh, it takes a while to clear out the noise. So it's really important to try to get out, move your body, move, clear your mind for focus, for mental health and for spirituality for me. That's where I go to church is out in nature. So my second tip is just to make sure you're getting some exercise every day. The road isn't going anywhere. Your destination isn't going anywhere. It took me a long time to get out of the must perform, must do, must must have a schedule. Not that I really had a whole, but I really was in a mindset for the first couple of years of point A to point B. I have to get there in time. I have to this, I have to that. What I've learned along the way is if I don't get there, it's okay. I live in my home. I can camp somewhere else. The important thing is to take care of myself and Sadie along the way. That means if I need to stop for an hour, hour and a half, and just sit by a lake or a creek, go for a walk, have a nice lunch. It's okay. If I don't reach my destination today, it's okay. Stop along the way. So being really in tune with your body and what you need is really important. And my third tip today along those lines is to make sure you're stretching. This is the one I struggle with the most because I'm a doer. I'm always working. I'm always doing this. I'm always doing that. I'm driving and walking kind of goes into that for me. Like I said, it takes me a couple miles usually, which is like 40 minutes of walking before I can relax. So it's really hard for me to relax and it's really hard for me to stretch, you know, breathe into it. Oh, and your breathing exercises. Breathe in three seconds, hold it for three seconds. I try to incorporate that. I think Nancy, one of my lovely patrons, you met her in a video recently. One of my lovely patrons has been talking about her breathing exercises for years. And it inspired me to incorporate breathing into my life. It's amazing how much it helps even while I'm driving, but especially if I can do my stretches and breathe in. It does, um, it, I don't know what it is. It does something amazing. Breathe in through your nose for three seconds. Hold it for three seconds. Slowly breathe out through your mouth, through your diaphragm for three seconds. So stretching and breathing are just good for your body, good for your mind, good for your soul. It'll help reduce stress. It'll help center you. And those are all really important things for self-care while you're on the road. So that's it. Nutrition, exercise, stretching are my three big uh, tips for self-care when you're living and traveling full-time in an RV or a van. So I hope you found that helpful and I hope it gives you some ideas and tips for staying healthy in your RV life and your sticks and bricks life. If you like this, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And just because you think you're subscribed, double check for me right now. Can you go double check? Because YouTube does unsubscribe people all the time. And don't forget to start your daily healthy ritual today with Ritual. They have a multivitamin for everybody. So scan the QR code, visit ritual.com, Carolyn RV Life 30 to get 30% off your first month. And yeah, it's a subscription basis, but don't worry if you're on the road, you can always have things sent to you via general delivery and at UPS stores. In fact, you know what? I'll put a video at the end so that you can learn how to get mail on the road so that you can get your daily ritual started with ritual. All right. I'll see you soon. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon.